Welcome back, Sidekicks, part two of Max Reed's Road to Civil War, uh, Marvel Civil War. This is going to be spoilers all throughout, spoilers. If you guys want to see my spoiler-free review of uh, the Civil War, which is Marvel's 2006 um, event, that's Civil War, uh, uh, Captain America versus Iron Man, there's a link down in the description, and that's going to take you back to uh, the first video I did, part one, which is a spoiler-free review. Um, also, if you guys haven't seen it, go ahead and take a look at it because I'm not going to go through all the details. Um, I'm just going to get right into the spoilers. And so here we go. Spoiler number one. People die. Lots of people die. And, you know, I like to, I like to kind of remember that although Civil War is happening because of uh, a tragedy... They do a fantastic job with adding more tragedy. So Speedball and his new warriors have a television show. I did not know this, but they have a reality TV show because, you know, they're not real heroes. And they uh, they, they go and on, on television. There's this tape. Um, that obviously, this is all recorded, not live. Um, but the tape leaks. And uh, it's, it's essentially... They're going after these bad guys, some some B-list villains, except one of them decides that he's no longer a B-list villain, and uh, he has the ability to blow himself up. I don't think I've ever heard of this guy before. He might be called Dynamite. I'm not sure. He's probably from the 70s, maybe the 60s, but anywho, he blows himself up. Not a real big deal, except that he was sitting right by an elementary school. And this is a big deal. They estimated somewhere between seven and eight hundred kids dead, just gone. And uh, the, this is the this is the catalyst, the start of all of it. But but is it really the start? Because before this, we have House of M. Before House of M, we have uh, um, the Hulk destroying Las Vegas. Um, there's uh, Avengers Dissembled, where. New York is just bombarded by um, uh, uh, by all the the lead up to House of M, um, and you know there's just a lot of eyes are on these superheroes for these several years leading up to Civil War. But there's some definitely some crazy things that happen in Civil War. Number one, I think that the 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 coolest thing that happens throughout all of Civil War is. Spider-Man's new suit, right? Iron Spider, okay? Spider-Man's new suit. And and it is absolutely amazing. But the reason why this is such a big deal is not because he's got this new suit, but because the suit was developed by Tony Stark. And through the process of this, this whole storyline, his suit gets compromised. And what I mean by that is Peter Parker is having second thoughts about which side he's on in this great battle, this uh, civil war between um, Iron Man and Captain America and their teams. And when he finally says, you know what? I'm done with this. I'm out of here. Tony Stark tries to set a failsafe in the suit to shut Spider-Man down. That shows his, his uh, deceptiveness. That shows his, um, his lack of trust issue. I mean, he's, he seriously has trust issues. And, and I think that that goes to show a lot of the mentality throughout all of the Civil War. Um, second thing that is really, really telling is that uh, there's a law that's going through, this uh, Superhero Registration Act. And essentially, if you fall in line and you register with the government, go through some training possibly, you get to keep wearing the mask. Um, you get paid by the government, but that becomes uh, that you are a government employee. And there's a part when Captain America says um, that this isn't good because then the government starts telling you who the bad guys are. 
and uh, and he's got a problem with that. But even before we get to this point, before the law is passed, before he starts expressing his concerns, he's up on a shield hel helicarrier, and Maria Hill is there. Uh, Maria Hill, very different in the comics than she is in the movie. They tried to encapsulate some of that with the character in the movie, but she really is a different character. Um, uh, in the movies previously. I don't know if she's in this one, but you've seen her in, in, other, in other ones. Um, but, but anywho, she's up on this helicarrier with, with Captain America, and she says a bunch of those superheroes are meeting, and they're discussing this law. So what are you going to do about it, Captain America? And he pretty much says, well, I mean, they're having a discussion. I, I don't know how I necessarily feel about this. I'm still thinking about it. Things are going to be... And she says, well, you know, are you going to be able to go stop them, turn them in, you know, possibly do something more? And he says, but why would I have to do that? And then right then, he's surrounded by what they call cape killers, which is a special team of S.H.I.E.L.D. agents who are highly trained to take down masks, uh, superheroes that have maybe gone rogue. And then all of a sudden, all their guns start clicking. And he warns them. He says, this is a bad idea, guys. I don't, want, I don't want to be held responsible for what I do next. But that's really telling because S.H.I.E.L.D., before the law was even passed, already started in and already started taking these people down. Um, so that's, that's huge. That's huge. And that really clicks him into being the leader of the resistance. As they try to take him, the, the war hasn't even started yet. And they were like, nope, you're coming with us if you're not going to fall in line 100%. Then some other things. Okay, so that's Cap, right? What is that? Cap 10? <laughs> America, okay? Um, then this is really important is they go to Wakanda and talk to Black Panther and say, hey, Black Panther, you're going to come join us. And he says, you know what? It's an American issue. It's not a global issue. You're not affecting Wakanda in any way, so I don't care. Okay? So let's, let's look at that. That's Black Panther. Right? Then they go and they try to find Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange is missing. He's gone, okay? And so when they see Doctor Strange is not even there, they're like, well, what the heck is going on with that? So I've explained Black Panther, but Doctor Strange, he's later on, you see him in a meeting with Uatu, the Watcher, big old dude, bald head. And he says, hey, why don't you just stop this? You could stop this. With a few whispers, you could end this whole thing. And he said, that's exactly the wrong thing to do. If I could do that, then maybe we do need to be registered. Maybe we do need to. So I can't pick a side because once I do, then it is totally going to give credence to, well, I mean, that proves that we need to have these guys in check. So he stays out of it completely. Um, uh, what's another big one? Okay, okay. Namor. Invisible Woman goes down to see Namor and says, Captain America is one of your oldest friends. You have to come help him. He needs help. And he pretty much says, you know what? Not my problem. It's not affecting me down here. It's not my problem. The mutants. The X-Men. Okay? They go to the X-Men and say, hey, which side are you going to fall on? Tony Stark is there with, uh, with uh, Emma Frost. And he says, what are you going to do? What side are you going to fall on? And she says, <laughs> why would I do that? That would set back years this is exactly what they're trying to do to us as mutants. Were you guys there supporting us during all these mutant killings and our entire civilization almost being destroyed and wiped out? 
The government's been trying to control us for years. Why would we join that fight? But if you read some of the side stories, there is a big divide. And even within the X-Men or in the mutant community, they have some jumping from one side to the other. So that as well uh, becomes an issue. But not in the main story. They pretty much stay out of the main story. What else is there? Who else is there? I can't think of anybody else. So those things are happening. Oh, okay. So then there's one more, one more really big important thing. Two, two more. <laughs> two more important things. One is that in the process of all this stuff that's going on, things change. People start to change. There's not enough heroes. First, Iron Man has all the backing. The government's there, all the people who want to stay superhero are there, and the resistance is small. The resistance is, is Captain America's team. And it's real small, but it starts getting bigger and bigger and bigger. They start recruiting people. They start People start defecting a little bit at a time. And so Iron Man's worried. S.H.I.E.L.D. is worried. And what happens is they decide to start recruiting villains. This is, this is not necessarily a good idea because some of the villains that they're recruiting are not the, oh yeah, I guess I'm a bad guy sometimes kind of villain. They're straight evil. Some of these guys are pretty bad, but they also get, you know, inhibitors put on them that if they step out of line, they can be shocked with 10,000 volts or whatever. Um, so this they start with the Thunderbolts. Um, as you guys might know, Veras' Thunderbolts. These are his guys, or at least uh, the, the idea of it is his. And so they, they let some people out of, out of prison and start joining these, this, this new team. Um, that's not always a good idea. Spider-Man almost gets killed um, by a couple of them if it weren't for the Punisher, blowing them away. Spider-Man would probably de be dead. Um, they pretty much said, hey, it's worth it. If I get zapped with 10,000 volts, it doesn't matter as long as Spider-Man's finally out of the picture. Um, uh, some some other things that happen uh, are uh, Venom is released. Um, Lady Deathstrike is released. Um, these, are, these are people that are not, they're not good people. Um, some, some other, so the, this all happens, and that's not a great idea. You know, you start seeing these villains coming in, and that starts swaying people from one direction to another. Like, oh man, if villains are coming in, then I'm definitely out, and I'm going to go join the resistance. So that was, I don't know, a great move on their part. They needed the people, but they were also starting to, to, to get a little, a little crazy with it. Um, but the main things that happen... Spider-Man reveals his identity as Peter Parker. Big, big announcement. Um, then he switches sides. He, uh, he realizes he made a mistake. Uh, second thing, Sue uh, Storm, Stu, Sue Richards, leaves her husband because he created a giant fake Thor guy who went crazy and killed Goliath. The giant man of yesterday he's now goliath because there's another giant man and there's also a wasp and a yellow jacket and a, uh, those shrink and growing people are so crazy kills him dead um and they they tried to shut him down but they couldn't and then finally they're like well that his programming went bad that shouldn't have happened um also uh it's a really big oh Project 42. That is huge. And Project 42 is is going to is going to probably be the straw. And what it is is giant prison that's built in the negative zone. If you don't step in line, if you don't fall in line, if you don't do what we say, good guy, bad guy, doesn't matter, you're going to be put in this prison. It's a maximum security prison that has no escape. And that is big. 
all in all, fantastic story. I'm really excited to see how the movie translates. Uh, if you guys want to catch that discussion, I'm actually going to do part three in just a little bit. And that is discussing um, how those, those changes are going to have to translate to a big screen or if they even can. Um, check it out. Read all of them. All 98 books all offshoots, all crossovers, they're all great. Um, but if you need to get the basic story before you go through and see the movie, Civil War, number one through seven, that'll cover you. That'll, that'll give you the gist of what's happening. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's some things that I missed that are really important to discuss. But remember, spoilers in this one. Leave that other video. No spoilers in there, okay? Be smart with your comments, please. I'll catch you guys next time.